Hello again, my name is Shane Sexton. I'm a cybersecurity instructor, and this video is going to focus on VPNs or virtual private networks. So conceptually, they're pretty straightforward. Most VPNs provide an encrypted tunnel between two points, and any traffic that goes over that tunnel is secure, regardless of whether the tunnel itself is being established over an insecure medium like the internet. So it's a great way for us to have secure remote workers, for instance, or inter-branch connectivity without having to get dedicated links from ISPs because those tend to be slow and really expensive. So there's different types of VPNs. There are remote access VPNs, which we can maybe set up for our employees that are working from home or roaming. And those typically are SSL TLS based or they can be IPsec occasionally. Site-to-site uh, -site VPNs are more static and they connect something like a, maybe it's like a HQ and a branch office. And they are more or less persistent and allow the exchange of data between two sites. That's almost always using IPsec. Another type of VPN going back to client-based VPNs is the always-on VPN. And this is something you can configure on end devices, maybe laptops, so that whenever the user uh, get maybe logs into their computer or turns it on, it connects up to the VPN and it has to be connected to the VPN. So what the benefit there is if you've got security appliances on-prem, like a web security appliance, email security appliance, well, their traffic is getting routed to whatever that prem is, uh, that local area network, and any security appliances that you're using on-prem will also be filtering traffic from users with always on VPNs because their traffic just has to go through your network, your central network. So that's a really beneficial. It gives you a lot more control over the traffic that is and isn't allowed from resources like laptops that you might own or the customer might, might own. So VPNs are incredibly important. They give us fast, cheap, secure connections between sites as well as remote. Uh, they make work from home a lot more uh, secure and even just possible. So it's really important that we not just use VPNs because that's kind of natural for work from home, but we secure it properly. So a few ways that you might want to I don't know, think about securing your VPN, you can look into zero trust models, but even before I did, I would do that, I'd look into things like, first off, making sure that you're using secure protocols. OpenVPN is a great secure protocol. IPsec in conjunction with IkeV2, good stuff. And then the actual cryptographic protocols as well you might want to look into, or algorithms. So you'd want to be using AES instead of the ancient DES. So if you choose secure protocols and crypto algorithms, that is going to be a huge win over the alternative. Another big win is multi-factor authentication. So you don't just have to log in with the username and password. Maybe you also have to, uh, maybe you set it up so that users also have to provide a six digit pin. Uh, the benefit there is that if a password gets exposed somehow, attackers can't log in through the VPN and gain access to local resources on the network. So you definitely want to secure data. You want to secure things like VPN logs and not just secure them, but also monitor them on a regular basis because you want to be able to catch if you're getting VPN connections from a random country at a random time, maybe early in the morning, because that is a really good indicator that you might want to look into something. That's all we got for VPNs. Uh, as always, thank you very much. See you in the next video.